Hi everybody, so I just wanted to um, stick this quick update on the Pink Couture frontal that I had given you an update on earlier and I just wanted to let you know of what it looked like now. Um, one second, let me grab it. Okay, so this is the frontal and before I show it to you, this is about um, two two to three weeks after I posted the last video and this is the end result it was not easy using that frontal um, for the remaining time after that review um, gave me a lot of trouble it kept shedding it was still shedding I, the bald spots were getting bigger and bigger and so when I finally took it off which was such a relief this is what was left over and let me see if I can prop this up all right, so this was what was left over of the frontal. This again, this was a 13 by six body wave. I don't even know what kind of hair this is, probably AliExpress. You can see through, that's where all the bald spots were that I was wearing and trying to cover up with makeup or whatever I had. Um, so you can see me through it. Um, it's all lace. I had combs in it because it got loose, so I like to put combs in my closures when I'm like trying to wait out that extra week until my next appointment. I'll just put combs just to lay it down, and then I'm good for that week. Um, but you know, this was a special, extra, extra special case. Um, the hair just kept getting more matted and matted, and this is what it looks like. How stiff it is, and. I've only worn it for a month before, yeah, just one month before it looked like this. Um, this is in its natural state, like I mentioned before, or did I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you before, but um, I couldn't straighten it out anymore with it looking, without it looking too bald because of the bald spots. So I wore it in its natural state, which had to be like refreshed at least twice a day to make it look nice. And when it was curlier, I could like hide some of these spots. Like, yeah, let me show you. Like if this was on your, on your head, this is what that spot looked like. So it, it was a really bad experience. I paid again 220 bucks for this and this is what I got. So, um... There you go. I uh, hope this helps anybody. Again, I'm all about saving money and or putting your hard-earned money towards something quality like. So yeah. Uh, right now I have in blue ribbon, blue ribbon hair, 100% closure and hair. Um, I installed this myself because I'm trying to plan some trips this year, so looks like I had to do the hair all on my own, but. You know, I had no um, worries about this hair when I bought it, and when it came in the mail, it was beautiful. When I installed it, it's beautiful. It's all beautiful. So um, right now, it's like kind of curled. It's not even done. I just I'm not even doing my hair right now. I'm trying to do some work, I'm trying to um, do some homework at the same time, and that can be difficult. I'm also cooking. I'm meal prepping. Um, I have some goals I want to hit. I'm trying to get my abs right for the summer when nice yeah so I got cut off but I'm meal prepping trying to get my abs right but that has nothing to do with this hair so hopefully this helps uh, let me know if you want to do want me to do any other reviews I have blue ribbon hair that I've done uh, that I'm I've worn I've worn vanity box I've worn um, yummy extensions so if you want me to do a review on any of those items let me know and I can share with you maybe some pictures that I have um, or if you want me to show you how I did this install, I can let you know. Um, yeah. Alright. Have a great day. Bye-bye.